All right, we're back at Diana's house, Diana. Diana's crib <laughs> today. So, yeah, this is your main floor office. Yep. And, and workout room. And workout room. <laughs> and if we come around this way, changing. and your changing station, <laughs> which having a main floor changing station is nice. Would not change it. Yeah. And these rooms on the main floor where you can close doors can sometimes become a catch all. Well, too. and I mean, obviously, so many of us working from home right now, too. Like, there's just a lot happening in here, and but it is, it's been on. A place to shove things. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to help you with today? I mean it's just, uh, I don't know how this happened and I don't actually know how to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the first thing that is helpful anytime we're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with, yep. especially like this, it's the piles, right? Like it's always the piles and the stacks that can sometimes feel overwhelming. So one of the first things that's helpful is to sort like with like, and I think yep. you've done that a little bit here. I knew you were going to say that. Well, it's almost like we're twins or something. I, <laughs> <laughs> just like, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I do have like, this is a return and this is a return. Okay. So those would go together. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Yeah, birthday gifts you have up there. Birthday gifts are... Um, I am honestly overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so we kind of, I mean, you kind of sorted it, but so what, why this feels overwhelming right now? So like our birthday was so fun and so well celebrated in these bags are a bunch of little gifts and mm -hmm. I have to like put them all away. So that mm -hmm. just takes time. Mm -hmm. This is from when Declan was born and yeah. I just, I haven't started like a baby box for him okay. yet. Yep. So, you know, where does it go? Um, stuff from when I cleaned out my office at work because now I get to stay home more. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, oh. This is fun. Princeton sold his car. So yeah. that is the contents of his glove box. Right. So it's just kind of like, where does this stuff go? I yeah. don't know. And that's what's making it a little bit tricky right now. Right. Okay. So I think we just set the timer for five minutes. Ah, and we just I do like five that. minutes and then we take a break. Yep. I like okay. That. All right. So we're going to put five minutes on the timer and we're going to start with the easiest stuff. So don't even think about the contents of his glove box right now like birthday presents birthday presents <laughs> yeah I, I knew you were gonna say that <laughs> they're all like really great things <laughs> yeah all right so there was actually only one thing in there i thought it was bigger than right it was we build yeah. it up we yeah. always build these things up so that's done Check. all right in that bag probably has seen better days so i could probably go i think so okay okay Okay. <laughs> I'm getting good at throwing things. Yeah, so. you are. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. Okay, that's money, so don't let that go. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> okay, so this is all kitchen stuff. Okay, so I think we wanna, with this stuff, we wanna use the decluttering without making a bigger mess method and literally go put that stuff away right now. I like that. I think that's gonna give me momentum. Right. Okay. Okay, so here's the birthday card we get every year from Grandma. Uh huh. So you're gonna open that. You just told me what it was. <laughs> it's the same every year. It's a Starbucks gift card. Okay, which is so nice. Which is so nice. Okay, and I also noticed right here you have some thank you notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so literally sit down right now, write it out. It it'll only take one minute. But I feel like that's detracting me from like what we're the goal here. If I stop well, and do that. So there's different ways of looking at this, right? All right, so there's different ways of looking at this. If we're trying to just like power through this room because we have people coming over, someone else has to use it, then yes, we probably wouldn't fully deal with each item right now, but that's not actually the boat we're in. Yeah. And so I think it would feel better for you to fully deal with this card. Don't move it to the kitchen, don't put it in your purse, anything like that. Write the thank you note, put it in the mail, put the Starbucks card into your app and just be fully done with it. Okay. What do All you right. think? I trust you. All right. I trust you. Let's okay. do it. Here we go. The footprints. Okay. So you actually need to start a baby box for Declan. Yeah. I don't have one. So how do you keep reminders like that you next time you go to Target or Walmart? My brain right here. Okay. So put that in your phone and then we'll run that up to the nursery. Okay. Right. So I'm putting a reminder to get a baby box. Mm -hmm. I should get one for Adley while I'm at it. <laughs> yeah. You should. <laughs> Okay, done. All right, and then run that up to his room. Bye. 
All right, so technically we're over five minutes right now, but do you kind of feel like you're in the groove now? Oh, now I'm having fun. I yeah. feel like I'm gonna do this thing. So these were another tricky one. Um, so these are some uh, like curriculums that I wrote and taught. Um, I have all of these in a digital version. Mm. I feel emotionally connected to these because yeah. it was just a, a really fun time where I was doing a lot of teaching. So I these were on a shelf. I had not looked at them in years, yeah. but now I brought them home, and I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. But really, I'm gonna if I keep these, I'm gonna put them on a shelf, and I'm not gonna think about them again. Yeah, do you know? And so it still feels a little hard to just toss these in the recycling. Um, but I have it all digitally. If I'm gonna refer yeah. back to it, that's what I'm gonna do. So. Yep. Less to manage. All right, so we are running out of time now though. So there are a couple more things that you could fully deal with that I think yep. would actually make this room feel like you've made progress. So mm -hmm. we got returns. So what yep. do we gotta do with those? So Amazon, I just need to go on the app really quick and request the return. And then, I mean, it's so easy now, right? You just drop it at UPS. Okay. This is an in-person one, but I'll, I I put all of my, van, my returns in one spot in the van. Okay. So I just gotta bring it out there, so. All right, let's do it. All right, so the stack of stuff that was in Princeton's car, Aww. CDs. Did, was, he, was he actually listening to those in his car? No, don't you get nostalgic though when you look at the CDs and the music you listened to 10 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So how I like to think of stuff like that is that it was actually quarantined in his car, right? Like we were testing it every day. Were we listening to it or yeah. not? And we weren't, right? And so, I mean, if it's his stuff, he should have say in it, but yeah. if that's coming out of our own cars, yep. I mean, really being realistic that we haven't used it in the last three years, like it might be just, yep. let's be real. We don't have time to manage all this stuff. No. Like we just don't have time for it. And were those being used at all? No, this was a cool thing. So your CD player can play in your radio. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that was some old headphones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so. That purposefully wasn't a huge dramatic like before and after. And Diana was struggling with it. She's like, we gotta do a little more. It's not gonna look good. Let's stay at it. <laughs> okay, but let me ask you this. Okay, I think if we do manageable chunks and we fully deal with the item, yeah. didn't that actually feel better than going in there and just shuffling stuff around? Yeah, like actually I still, the whole, I mean, you should have seen how much I resisted her on writing the thank you card to grandma right there and then. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if I didn't do it now, exactly. when was I going to do it? And then she would call and I would feel terrible. You wouldn't answer because you're like, I got to get the thank, thank you, you in the, mail, in the and mail and then I'll call her exactly. back. Exactly. So I do really agree with that or just getting the items uh, for the kitchen, those gifts into the kitchen, like that feels so good now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those things, they just hang like they literally exactly. hang over your head and it, it did feel bigger than it actually was right so now does it feel like you could go in there for five or ten minutes again and then there was like some mail that need to be dealt mm -hmm. with and then that it doesn't feel like such a big project yep. anymore like as soon as we're done here yeah <laughs> I, I feel so motivated now like you just gotta get started sometimes right, right? Yeah. and sometimes you just need somebody here to be like no, sit and write the thank you note, right? Or do this. So our decluttering membership group is open, right? Well, it's like closing today, honestly. Um, <laughs> so I hate when that happens, but I'm sorry. You have like to the end of the today to sign up for it. <laughs> um, but because we're starting a new book study tomorrow, The Lazy Genius Way. So we're just gonna like hit the ground running with a new book and new decluttering challenges that go along with it. And so what I love about this group is that this is what we do. We take big projects and we break it down into bite-sized pieces. We cheer you on through it. We say, no, sit down and write the thank you card. You're gonna be glad you did it. We celebrate when you're taking a load to the donation center or you're putting something. Diana, actually, while we were doing it, we should have videoed it. She was putting something for free on Marketplace on her porch oh, yeah. as well. Like, we didn't catch that. Um, and so we just help you step by step get through your house and it is such a cool group of people. They're so sweet and encouraging and kind and polite and I post videos every day to just help, again, break this down, answer questions, give tips. So 
So the way it works is you pay a small monthly fee, but then you get to be a part of this closed community. You get a little more quality time with Dawn. <laughs> I love it, especially for sentimental items yeah. because it's so hard for us. Even those binders with that, <laughs> those curriculums that I wrote. Yeah. I mean, it's silly to other people and they're a little more removed from it. And they're like, okay, you have the digital version. Yes, I yeah. do. Okay, you have the sweet memories in your heart. Yes, I do. Okay, let's move well, on. Well, and isn't it funny? If you would have asked somebody that's not on this journey with you, like if you would have been like, hey, I have put hours of my life into creating this curriculum. Should I recycle it? They'd have been like, no, 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 no. If you post that in our group, we'd be like, take a picture, tell us all about it, and then get it into the recycling can <laughs> as quickly as you can, right? Like while you're still thinking about that. Um, and so I just remember when, when I was decluttering my house, it was a pretty lonely process because yeah. I didn't feel like anyone around me got it. Now, like Diana, my mom, and Tom are all on board, right? But in the beginning, it was very lonely. So if you just need some like-minded people to hang out with, if you wanna find your tribe, I think <laughs> I think we would love to have you. And all the details, of course, are in the comment or in the description below. And you know, this is such an important time. I just want to validate if anybody's feeling worried, anxious. You know, things are heightened, and so I want to validate you in that. If you're feeling again a little frazzled, and so I just want to encourage us right now. What we can control is the environment that we live in. It's one mm -hmm. of the things that we do have control over. And it's amazing how the environment that you live in really does affect the internal state, Absolutely. you know? And so that's mm -hmm. where I think I've been so amazed at how important simplifying is for even that reason. Like mm -hmm. it's scientifically proven that when you see clutter, when you see mess, like your brain is having to process all that information and it does cause stress. Yeah, it releases the stress hormone. And we're living in a high enough state of anxiety anxiety the way yeah. it is. And so these have been such difficult times and I want to encourage you to really in this season guard your heart and your mind. And I love the passage, you know, we've always read it as guard your heart for it's the wellspring of what is it the wellspring life. of? <laughs> of life. Good job, Doug. <laughs> But I know I have heard too that it can also mean to guard your mind. Yeah, in some translations. So this is Proverbs 4, 23. It will say, um, above all else, guard your heart. But yeah, there are some translations that say guard your mind. And again, I've just been loving the Passion translation. And this is what it says. It says, above all, guard the affections of your heart for they affect all that you are. And so it means guard what, you know, anything that you spend time on means that you're valuing it. And so if these inputs are political or they're negative or they're causing fear or anxiety, those are actually your the affections of your heart, even though it, that seems weird. Like, oh, I don't like all that stuff. Yeah. And in all of this, again, I wanna encourage you. I know one of the comments last week, one of the sweet gals said, I was up in the middle of the night, I was worrying about my grandkids, I was worrying about their safety, our health as a family, you know, and that is so easy right now. Most of us feel some of that fear and that mm -hmm. worry, and we have to be turning it to prayer. Every time we feel yeah. that, or if we feel concerned for the direction that our nation is going in, turn it to prayer. I yeah. promise you, you are gonna feel hopeful again, you're gonna feel empowered, and less like someone that this stuff is just happening to. And I love one of the principles of John Eldridge's new book, The Get Your Life Back, that we've been talking about, is he talks about how spending time in nature causes it causes things to go back into perspective. And so I know a lot of times we focus on like what we need to cut out, but even if we say like, okay, Lord, I'm gonna like intentionally spend a half hour outside and I'm gonna use that time to worship and walk and, and pray. But it is amazing how I remember when I first started like walking really consistently again, I told Diana, I'm like, the clouds are different every day. <laughs> like every single day I walk down my driveway and I'm like, Lord, look at these clouds. They're so different and they're so big. Like when you actually look at them in comparison to yourself and then yeah. you look at the trees or the cornfield. Like I love seeing the cornfields right now because I'm like, they're the same every year. It doesn't matter if it's a political year or a virus year, they're the same every year. And that actually brings a lot of comfort it does. to our soul. We're like, Lord, you're so consistent. Lord, you knew. You knew this corn was gonna come up. You knew this virus was gonna come. You knew these clouds were gonna be here today. And so to get outside and spend a little time in nature, use that time to worship him and praise him and just to kind of, you know, and to, to go from this in, into like, whoa, Lord, wow. Yeah. And so yeah. I think that's something that we can kind of add in um, that yep. could make a huge difference. That's awesome. So the Lord is with us. Jesus is in 
20, 21, and 22, and 23, <laughs> and he's going to be there with us regardless of what some of these outcomes will be. And so, Father, I just ask right now, Lord, help to ground us. Ground our hearts in you and what's eternal. Lord, as we go outside, that we would just be so anchored in the awe and the wonder of who you are and your creation, Lord God. And even right now, I ask just for a refreshment to blow across our souls that we would truly believe that the best is yet to come. Lord, that you are Lord of the past, the present, and the future. So as we submit our lives to you, Lord, and as we follow you, we can trust that you are there with us and there's reason to be hopeful. And Father, we bless our nation. Lord, I bless everyone who's voting, Lord, that you would guide them in wisdom, Father. And also I bless uh, the politicians, Lord Jesus. And ultimately, Father, that you would bless this nation, that you would guide all of our leaders, Lord Jesus, and you would be with each one of us. And Lord, I bless every nation and every person who's watching as well. And I thank you for your presence with us. I bless each one of us now in Jesus' name. Amen.